I'm the technical consultant of uh, Rapid Direct. And today we are going to talk about uh, two most common material in 3D printing, actually in 3D FDM process. Uh, one is called PRA and one is ADS. And uh, uh, we hope that after this video, you will be able to make a good choice between these two material. Okay, so first, what is PRA? PRA is a material that appears um, in the last few years. Okay, it is a biodegradable material, uh, or it's called, uh, the PRA full name is uh, polylactic acid. So from the name, we already know this is from some organic resources, such as uh, sugar cans and uh, uh, corn starch. And it has a, a melting point around 180 degree Celsius. It's ideal material to represent very fine details. And ABS is a traditionally very common plastic material used in FDM process. And uh, so we're going to give more information so that you can make a good choice between these two. Okay, first the feature we're going to talk about is the melting point. Uh, all solid material can be divided into either um, crystalline material uh, or amorphous material. Uh, amorphous material does not have a fixed melting point. It just tends to get softer and softer when the temperature rises. And on the other hand, the uh, crystalline solids, they have a almost a fixed melting point. When the temperature reaches that point, it becomes liquid. Uh, below that point, it's a solid. And the PLA is, is some, somewhat crystalline material. So it has a rel relatively fixed melting point, which is about 180 to 220 degree Celsius. And ABS does not have that. ABS is a amorphous material. So when the temperature rises, and ABS tends to become softer and softer until it becomes liquid-like. And that makes the PLA a very good material for 3D printing when you're trying to represent a good um, fine details because you can control the point, you can control the melting point once the material melts and form in the place where you want it to form, uh, solid, so the detail does not deform. Uh, that's why it is very good material if you want to represent some really fine details. And on the other hand, uh, it's hard for 3D printing machine to form a very good, a very precise shape for ABS material. Okay, the second feature we are going to compare is the strength. There are um, a lot of tests has been done to, uh, to tell the difference between uh, these two materials of strength. Matter hackers had a test that they, they print, the 3D prints uh, a hook uh, to, uh, and then uh, put a weight on it to test when uh, the two material made hook uh, is going to break. And we, the result shows that the PLA has a strength, something like half to two thirds of uh, what, uh, what ABS made. So PLA is much less stiff and can take much less uh, strength than ABS. So if you want to make a part that has to stand for certain forces, ABS is um, certainly a better choice. And then the heat resistance. Uh, although PLA has a um, melting point around 180 degrees, but it starts losing its stiffness noticeably uh, when the temperature is rising up to 60 degrees already. On the other hand, ABS can be really stiff below 105 degrees and that means if you if you want to make a part that you like to put them into hot water for example i think uh, the abs would be a better choice the pla just it, when the material is is exposed to high temperature the pla is just going to be uh, deformed really heavily the next feature we're going to talk about is the biodegradability and pla is a biodegradable material it takes about 48 months in water to fully degrade pla or 50 days under industrial conditions. And for ABS, it takes almost forever in nature. And, uh, but ABS is a fully recyclable. Uh, if you want to do something like bottle or uh, plastic film, uh, food related, PLA is a better material. And uh, uh, ABS is better for technical using that can take impact forces. 
and then the descent uh, when printing, um, ABS gives a very strong smell. It's, uh, it's, it's like a normal, it's like a burning plastic smell. It's not very pleasant. So it's strongly suggested to have a ventilation system uh, when printing ABS. Well, PRE um, is, um, is okay. PRE gives a um, sweet smell. Um, it's, not, it's not too bad. So for PRE, uh, I think you can just print it. And then the precision of the parts or accuracy of the parts. Um, both PRA and ABS can produce very complicated and uh, very precise parts. And they, they can form a wall thickness minimum to about 0 0.8 millimeter. Uh, however, um, if you want to produce something with a sharp corner and really good looking fine details, PRA, PRA is a better choice because it's low melting temperature and uh, the lower uh, printing uh, setting temperature also. So if you want to have a good looking uh, fine detail material, use PRA. For surface finish, when you finish the printing, the uh, printing layer are both visible for PRA and ABS material. And PRA delivers a glossier finish, where uh, while ABS material produce a matte finish. Acetone is often used to uh, smooth the surface of, of ABS material as a post process of 3D printing. And uh, uh, PRA printing material are more aesthetically appealing. And as mentioned earlier, it is also good for complicated designs. The cost of PRA and ABS is very similar. So how we choose uh, between these two materials? PRA is ideal where aesthetic and fine details are important. It needs lower operation temperature, so you get uh, the end product to be the fine finishing and excellent corner chips. For example, showing pieces using house or screws can be built with PRA. ABS is ideal for an application where strength, thermal stability, and machinability are required. They can withstand the impacts, so you can also use them to build the casing. For example, ABS is ideal for musical instruments, plastic car parts, and uh, a Lego building blocks. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have, if you have any questions or suggestions, please contact Rapid Direct. We will give you answers, advice, and helps. And don't forget to sub subscribe to this channel for more videos.